In this video we're going to look at transformations of graphs and specifically we're going to look at translations, vertical and horizontal translations. So let's begin with vertical translations. So if we have a positive number b, the graph of f of x plus b is the same thing as the graph of f of x only shifted up b units. Now what do we mean by f of x and then plus b? Well one way to think about this is if f of x has a formula, so like x squared, then the graph of x squared plus a number, like x squared plus 3, would be the same thing as the graph of x squared only shifted up 3 units. Okay, now if we tacked on a negative number at the end, so if we subtracted a number uh, and we looked at, say, x squared minus 3, that would be the same thing as the graph of x squared only shifted down 3 units. So let's look at some examples. Now again we're using the website Desmos here and what I've typed in is the, is the graph of y equals the absolute value of x. It has this v shape. If we were to graph y equals the absolute value of x and then let's say plus 1, notice it's the same thing as the graph of y equals the absolute value of x only shifted up one unit. Or if we were to change that to a 2 it would be up 2 units or up 3 units and so on. Right? It just shifts the graph up. If we had typed in a minus 1 Right? Notice it goes down one unit, or minus, or minus two, it goes down two units. So if we were just given f of x equals the absolute value of x, then minus two, how would we graph that? Well, we could start with the graph, the basic graph that we know, the absolute value of x, and just shift it down two units. Okay, we could also try this, uh, for example, with uh, x squared. Okay, y equals x squared, we have a parabola. If we look at y equals x squared uh, plus one, Notice it's the same thing, only shifted up one unit, or plus two, and uh, same thing with uh, minuses, right? We can subtract things and it'll shift it down. So if you're wondering, what does the graph of y equals x squared minus five look like? Well, you would just graph y equals x squared and shift it down five units, right? Notice the y-intercept here, instead of being the origin, zero, zero, is down here at, uh, my, uh, at minus five, zero comma minus five. Now let's look at horizontal translations. So for some positive number d, the graph of f of x minus d is the same thing as the graph of f of x only shifted right d units. Now what do we mean by f of x minus d? Well if we're given some func a formula for f of x, if we replace all of the x's in that formula with x minus d, then we get the graph of f of x minus d, right? And that'll be the same as the graph of f of x only shifted right d units. And it's kind of weird. You have a negative and it ends up shifting to the right. It's almost opposite of what you would think it would be. And the graph of f of x plus d is the same thing as f of x only shifted left d units. So again, we're taking the formula for our function and replacing all the x's with x plus some number. So instead of looking at, for example, x squared, we look at x plus 3 squared. So x plus 3 squared would be the same thing as x squared, the same graph, only it would be shifted left 3 units. So again, let's look at some graphs on uh, Desmos. We have y equals x squared. If we graphed y equals x minus 3 squared, whoops, it's supposed to be squared, notice it's the same thing as y equals x squared, only it's shifted to the right 3 units. Now you might wonder, why did it shift to the right? Because we have the x minus 3. Well, notice, uh, in the original function, if we plug in 0 for x, we get an output of 0. That tells us the point 0, 0 is on the graph. Now, the point uh, 3, 0 is on the graph of this one, because if you plug in 3 for x, notice your output is 0. If you plug in minus 3 for x, you don't get 0, right? So it didn't, it didn't shift to the left 3, it shifted to the right 3. Okay, now if we had put uh, x plus 3, it would, it would be shifting to the left. Okay, so if you're trying to graph y equals x plus 3 squared, you take the original graph, y equals x squared, and shift it to the left 3. Now what if you wanted to graph y equals x plus 3 squared and then plus 1? Well, we uh, take our graph of x squared, shift it to the left 3, okay, and then shift it up 1. Right? So there's the graph shifted to the left 3. Then we shift up 1 and we get the graph uh, that we're looking for. Okay, we could also try this with say uh, y equals 1 over x. Okay, there's y equals 1 over x. What does y equals uh, 1 over x plus 2 look like? Well, it's a little bit hard to tell, but notice it's the same thing as your original graph, only shifted left 2. Okay, and there's left 3 and left 4. Okay, there's left 1. Okay, now if we shifted to the right, okay, it would be the same thing as the original graph of y, 1 over x, only shifted to the right, different units. 
Okay, and if we wanted to graph y equals x minus 3, uh, 1 over x minus 3 plus 2, we we take our original graph of 1 over x and shift it to the right 3, and then we would shift it up 2. And let's look at one more. Uh, we're looking at y equals x cubed. What if we wanted to graph y equals uh, x minus 2 cubed? Right? Notice this is the same thing as y equals x cubed, only shifted right two units. And then what if we said uh, minus 3? Well, that would be the, the, the same graph, only now shifted down 3. So, so in order to get y equals x minus 2 cubed minus 3 from the original graph of x cubed, you take it and you shift it to the right two units, and then you shift it down three units. Okay, and there's the graph uh, that we're looking for.